feelings. I'm here with Pikachu and Snorlax, and we are going to go shopping at the Pokemon Tokyo DX Pokemon Center. There's lots to see in this store, and I can't wait to look at everything. If you haven't checked it out yet, my previous video is all about the attached Pokemon right across the hall here, so if you're going to one, you're definitely gonna want to go to the other. Check it out. I got my little Pikachu, Chef Pikachu keychain when we were at the Pokemon Cafe, so of course I had to wear it right away, you know, of, of course. There's a gorgeous display here at the front of the store. It's showcasing lots of video games, stills, and footage. And then right to the left of that display, there's a tiny little Gashapon machine section. Although, I think because today's a pretty busy day, a lot of these machines are empty right now. But we can take a look at them anyway. There's some cute ones here. Lots of different tiny, tiny definitely want to hit up some gashapons at some point. And then to the right of the door, we have this little display. It's just basically saying you can get this Pikachu bou bouquet card that you can give as a gift. And then there's this lovely display of our new current starter Pokemon. Now, from what I understand, some of these statues can change out seasonally, but right now we have the gorgeous Sprigatito, Quaxley, and Fuegogo. Alright, let's walk into the front here. Obviously, like, they are really pushing Scarlet and Violet right now. It's their main big game, right? So we've got tons of merchandise with the three stars. Let me know. I'm a Sprigatito kind of person, I think. Oh, my boy has fallen. Look. Oh, somebody, somebody fix him. It's in a glass case, otherwise I would turn him correctly. I don't know why, but when little plush toys, like, are fallen to their side, I'm kind of like, oh, I have to save you. Lots of Paldean Pokemon the front here, Fido, we've got the little loopers, Brigadito, look how big these are. These are really nice and soft. I wonder if it would even be possible for me to bring one of these home. I might have to buy it its own uh, ticket on the airplane. There's lots of fun seasonal merch in the front of the store. This is a really cute pastel collection. There's cups. What is this? Ah, oh, it's a plate. Lovely little plate with all these little Pikachus on it. And you can see in the display here what it really looks like. A bit of a better view. And it looks like we've also got this cute little bento set. Oh, I really like these. The cups are cute too. It's nice to see Pokemon stuff in my color palette, <laughs> but it kind of looks like these must be popular because there's some empty spots too. This looks like it's a little um, tablecloth, and it's got little flowers all over it and little ruffles. I, I'm, hmm, I'm drawn to this. I'm gonna think about it. I can't start picking stuff out right here at the front of the store. I want to try to look around a little bit before I start putting things in a basket. We've also got this, like, uh, tiered cake stand, I guess. And then this little scarlet and violet display featuring lots of such good characters from the game. I love the character designs here. Now, towards this side of the 
display. There's this really cute Eevee collection. Isn't this adorable? We've got washi tape here, and it's like, it seems to have little flowers all over it. A little Eevee washcloth. I'm kind of amassing quite the little washcloth collection on this trip. I don't regret it at all. Look at this little case. This is adorable. It's got little pics on it as well. There are some very gorgeous glasses. If you are an Eevee fan, these are like perfect for you. A little parfait bowl and even a matching tray. This is like a melamine tray. Also, fleur de coquelicot. So, uh, that means like basically a, a poppy flower or like a common poppy. I'm drawn to these because they're swab blue, but I don't exactly know what they are. I'm gonna have to investigate these a little bit, because I, I don't even know what it is, but I kind of want it. I, I really like swab blue. Lots more Paldean blush over here, and then there's this whole collection. Look at this, it's like a rain collection, so... This is an umbrella stand, and it's Diglett, and then lots of umbrellas to choose from. You really need an umbrella in Japan. Like, you must have one. I kind of love this Metapod one, and the uh, umbrella inside is Butterfree. How great is that? A little Diplop one with Sabo. It says it's doasere, so that's um, the phrase completely forgot in Japanese. This is basically featuring Pokemon that use the move amnesia. <laughs> so these are like the main current seasonal collections, and we've got some little being here because the merch is like, it's so diverse. There's all kinds of merch for kids, merch for adults, everybody. There's jewelry. It's kind of heaven for a Pokemon fan. <laughs> right on the left here, we've got some toys. And this is just all charms for charm bracelets. dive into all this back to school stuff. There's like a whole section here with little embroidered patches so you can customize your backpack, your binder, your pencil case, you name it. Like all your back to school stuff. And we've got some cute little notebooks with the starters. Ooh, pencils. Don't mind if I do. We've got an Eevee set, but also this, look at the colors on this, they're so dreamy, and 2200 yen, so that's like, oh, that's like under two dollars, very nice. Over here, we have the coolest toys I've ever seen. Look at these tiny little, I, I want to say they're like little doll sets, but they're not quite, they kind of remind me of like, sets from my childhood, but they're like basically one little segment of a room. Look at the score bunny and Esper having a birthday party and then, oh my gosh, Esper's haunted house room. The colors on these, are you guys seeing this? Like, these are amazing. Pikachu and score bunny, it's like a little work. I've never seen such cute little play sets before. Now, the Pokemon Center DX is kind of shaped in a circle, and in the middle of the store is this amazing 
it's like a glass shelf display and as you can see it's just like plush toy heaven pretty much every pokemon you can think of there's a plush toy of it it just goes on and on there are so many plush to choose from and actually the prices are pretty reasonable i think i'm super used to like the import costs but you know these are like 15 dollars so i i definitely i think i'm gonna get a blush oh look at these minute and bliss oh, their little designs oh they're so We've got a little cute Togepi, and there's a little Psyduck down in the bottom here. Okay, I found, I've located <laughs> uh, two Lapras Blush. Now this one is like smiling a little bit, which makes it cuter to me. The one on the right, it's more traditional. Which, which one do I so cute. I need to go to a different part of the store to think about this a little bit. Some stationery will definitely calm me down. More Dewasere uh, stationery sets. These are really cute to me. The design is like so 90s. And then more of this Poké Peace collection. These kind of match the playset. Like they're the same style. It's all really cute. Oh my gosh. And then this is like little correction tapes. And these are like little rubber clips. Yeah. You know, for like when you have a bunch of papers. Things like that. The stationery set stuff is amazing. Look at this this little pencil. It's more cute than it has any right to be. I'm not usually into pan jam, but I mean, this one. <laughs> I'm kind of into it. <laughs> now, I want to go ahead and walk over this way because I think I spied with my little eye some plush keychains. And I mean, you've seen my Chef Pikachu. Like, I'm determined. Oh, yeah, they're right over here. Hi. <laughs> getting busy in here as you can see but I've located them I am definitely picking up a plush keychain because they have the poke doll keychains the poke doll keychains are like seriously some of the cutest sets you can find notice how their eyes are a little bit different than the regular plush they're designed to look like the Pokemon dolls in the games. Okay, but also these are really cute. It's like extra soft Rowlet. Oh, they have score bunny too. <laughs> so adorable. We've got some acrylic stands, you know. I I've been noticing acrylic stands in the last like three years are becoming so popular. I I've never gone for one so far. I don't know, they're just not that appealing to me, but I feel like there's a chance I might find one with a very specific character and be like, oh yeah, I love these. <laughs> these are all more keychains. There's some really cute little like rubber ones down here. Cleffa. Now I can see the tech section, so let's go there. We've got all kinds of tech accessories here. Keys and these are all like um phone grips, Gumi, Diden, Jirachi, and Spiel. I love Spiel. We've got a little Yamper one, Mimikyu's, uh, Shinx, and Snorlax. Ditto. There's a lot to choose from actually, and some AirPod cases. I also kind of love these. 
these little like phone straps. I have one myself and like they're so good for putting charms on. Phone cases and then what do we have over here? Okay, my eyes being totally attracted by a very cute same print and they have these like little drawstring bags but the tote bag come on that is really nice I guess this section is all bags and things like that some little lunch bags and oh wait look at this okay I love this tote bag too I know this is not my normal style but like the graphic design on this penalty and doors. It's totally like a street style. I, I'm really into this. I know a bunch of people who would like this, so mm, gift ideas. The, the little gears in my hat are turning. And then over on the left, we've got tons of little zippered pouches. Oh my gosh, this is the last thing I need, is a zipper. I will be lucky if I can get out of this store without getting another tiny little pouch that I don't need. Okay, this one is really cute though. I, look at these ones. Oh, this one is Vaporeon on it. They have like different little color schemes. Oh, I do really like those. Down here we've got a little, I thought it was a purse actually, but it's just a little zippered pouch. More Paldiantor stuff. And this is like a cafe time theme one. Oh, that's like a hard shell case too. That's pretty nice. And now we have dun, 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 the glorious, the gorgeous jewelry section. The jewelry they have here never seen such cute stuff anywhere else. Like, look at these veal earrings. They have tiny little cubes of ice. And a lot of these earrings are clip-on, actually. It's, like, more common to see clip-on earrings. Little Melsery ring, and this one has to be, I guess, Solosis, right? Little hair ties. We've Chandelure hair tie. Okay, that's I like that. Pulte geist earrings with little tiny drips of tea. <laughs> and these are like Hisuian Zara little clip on earrings. See, I have like pierced ears, so these are less interesting to me, but I like that you can buy single earrings. So you could do growl it like whatever you like you could do. There's little Vithilon earrings. So much cute stuff. What? Oh my goodness. You guys, they're butterfly clips, but they're butterfree. They're butterfree clips. Okay, that is, that's good. <laughs> I kind of want here we've got some nice hard shell cases for your glasses. I always need those because I always have glasses, sunglasses. Little Vivillon and Piplop jewelry case. So much jewelry. I'm, I'm genuinely surprised to see so much jewelry here. While we're here, of course, we have to do one of these heat pressed coins. I've never done one of these before. They're only 200 yen, and each different Pokemon Center has a different design. Isn't that cool? Alright, so let's pick C. That's like the classic design. You can see the little coin heating up. It's going to get pressed with the design we chose. you can 
can see the design is Pikachu with little cherry blossoms. It has like a big, beautiful hair with little cherry blossoms in it. I've never been like a pressed coin girly, but these are such a fun souvenir from the different Pokemon Center locations, so I'm very happy to have that. Alright, I'm making my way I'm lollygagging here because there's so much to see even here in the checkout line. There's some cute bags as well. They have the Pokemon B-side label stickers. These are super coveted, like classic sticker designs. I actually already have one of these. I have a Lapras one. It was a Christmas gift, but it's so amazing to see because like I promise you the person who bought it for me had to get it like on eBay. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and check out every part of the store is cute. Even the sign that says that this register is closed. <laughs> All right, thank you very much Pokemon Center DX for taking a bunch of my money, but I did get this awesome bag that I can reuse even if it's so heavy. It's a really nice long strap, so you can wear it and carry around tons of stuff. I've got my little keychain here, which I proudly wear. I love him. And this is the mural outside the store. It's pretty cool, right? I hope that you liked seeing this location. We're also going to check out the Pokemon Sky Tree Center just a little bit. It's community day, so it is busy. Also, can you see that little location down here at the bottom? Keep your eye on that. We will be going in there in a future video, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. See if you can figure it out. They gave us free stickers at the Pokemon Center to celebrate Community Day, and like, people are out playing Pokemon Go here. It's kind of thrilling. Even back at home in Toronto, where tons of people play, I've never seen this many people out and about, enjoying themselves, spinning the poke stops, and catching lots of Pokemon. Look, the center stop is Jancy. How perfect is that? I've been playing Pokemon Go since it came out. Um, I wouldn't say like. say I play it avidly. Um, I just really like it. I make tons of new friends through it all the time. I'm not like um, a super shy person, so if I see someone playing, I'll just walk up to them and ask if they're playing, if they want to trade codes. It's, it's just a really fun way to make new friends. So if you're looking to make new friends, I totally encourage you. Get involved in your local community. Now, the inside of the Sky Tree location has this amazing Rayquaza Pikachu. I am inclined to pat him like a cute dog, but of course I'm not going to actually touch it. But it is weirdly very cute to me. The design is like it's bursting through ice in the ceiling. It's huge. All of these different Pokemon Center locations have things that make them unique. And, uh, yeah, I am going to obviously as many locations as I can. This is what I'm here for, you know? This is what I love. I gotta get the most out of it that I can. And, of course, while we're here, you know, we're gonna get one of the special coins machine is located near the exit, and guess what? It's a different design. Each location has a different design. So, um, this location, the Skytree location, has a special Pikachu with a little Rayquaza hoodie on, which is, oh, of course, we're gonna get that one. You can 
choose which one you want to get, but I'm getting the, like, special Pikachu one, of course. I really need to think of something to do with these to display them. Isn't that cute? I love it. Okay, I, I, I've got my stuff. I, <laughs> the insides of the Pokemon Center stores are so cool and so fun that I know that you guys want to see what I bought. Are you ready for this haul? Because I think if any place we went, I definitely uh, did the most damage, <laughs> I guess you would say, at the Pokemon Centers um, between the multiple locations. I just kept finding good stuff. So much great stuff. The first one is this really cool, like recyclable bag. Look at how fun this is. It has a zipper on the top. I got a bag kind of like this in terms of texture. Um, when I was at San Diego Comic Con in like 2012, and I still use that bag all the time because it's so big and useful. I have a feeling that's what this is going to be like because, like, first of all, it's so cute, but um, it's, like, really weirdly sturdy. So, I'm, I love it. It has all the Pokemon plush as a design. So, you know what? Why don't we start with some Pokemon plush? The first thing I'm going to show you, this is actually not mine. My wife got this. into Sprigatito. Currently like one of our top favorite Pokemon. And this is the Pokemon doll series. So they're kind of designed to look like the dolls in the games. They have like all um, the new main three. Oh my gosh, look at the little pink eyes. soft tail, very soft fabric. And it's just little, like look how small it is. It just kind of fits in the palm of your hand. They always have great keychain charms on the merch in Japan, I've noticed. And it's got a little green one. Oh, I'm just put it right there. You can just chill. <laughs> can you? Yes, okay. Now I'll show you my plush that I got. It's not a keychain, it's just a regular plush toy, and I had to get Corsola. You know, we looked at those Lapras ones, and they were really cute, but it just feels kind of rare to see Corsola merch at all. She's one of my favorite Pokemon. Like, I love Corsola. Colors on Corsola are so cute. She's a water Pokemon. She's pink and she is literally coral. And that's always been something I love about her. I wish I I wish I could hug a Corsola in real life. And if you like me spend a lot of time thinking about like who would my um Pokemon team be real in real life? Real and Corsola is always on my team. It's like Lapras, Corsola, um, Blissey. Uh, I, I sometimes switch the other ones. Sometimes it's Primarina. Um, but yeah, I, I think about that a lot and Corsola is always there. So even though I'm not super into buying plush at this point, because I, I find, like, I'm struggling to display all my plush. I wanted to get just one little plush. Look how cute Corsola is. So, she's going to go right on my desk or shelf. I'm not sure which one yet. But it's a place of high esteem, I do think. I'll open her just here so we can see her a little bit. When I show you... really think that you're going to lose your mind because when I saw these here, I freaked out. I was 
was like, I didn't even know that this collaboration was happening, but here it is for me to purchase. So, it turns out that Swimmer, yes, the brand Swimmer, one of my favorite brands, maker of cute things, did a collaboration with the Pokemon Center. cute Meryl, Evie, Pikachu, Nurse Joy is right there, Galarian Ponyta, like this art with the gingham. I, I can't wait for you guys. Look, you guys are, I know you're gonna love this because I love it too. I got a couple of pieces from this collection and one of them is this mug. It's kind of funny because this mug was something I was carrying around in my little basket for a while, and then I was like, no, no, I don't need this. I put it back. And Nico was like, I'm not letting you leave without this. I know you have a lot of mugs, so you don't want to get another mug. But you are going to be so bummed if we get home and you didn't buy this. And you know what? Uh, she was right. And you need somebody in your life to tell you these things. I had bought another mug at Kitty Land. I got that house Moving Castle one, so I think that's why I was like a little bit reticent to buy yet another mug, but I have no regrets. This is so cute. The gingham background. I don't know this style of art for Pokemon. you ever seen something so cute? I'm kind of marveling at it even now. It is so cute. It's so stinking cute. So, yeah, I, <laughs> I'm very glad that I got it, even though I really don't need another mug. I'm supposed to be on a no-buy for mugs. What are you gonna do? I had to get this one. All right, so we've got Another item from the Swimmer collab. Guess what these are? They're little like cord ties for your headphones or any other cords. Oh my god. Like something this cute. I don't even know if it should be allowed to exist. It's it's so so stinking cute. Look at Pikachu's face ever seen such cute Pokemon art? I can't stand it. Like, it, it's so cute I get mad. I'm like, how, how are you so cute? Look at this, this Pancham, this Teddy Ursa. Even though I would say none of these three are like in my top fave Pokemon, the art, the cute little cloudy designs and the mushrooms. And also, I really needed these. I really needed cord organizers. When I was packing for Japan, I was like, I don't have anything like that. And all my cords are tangly, so this was an instant buy. I didn't even think about this one. I was like, well, I'm obviously getting that. No question. So you can see, it's like a rubber, and then ties your cord up. Should we try it? I haven't even opened these yet. I have a cord over here that we can try one on. We'll try the Pikachu one. So, this comes out like that, and it has these, like, little clasps on the back. And it's useful. I, I cannot ask for more. Alright, I have a cord here. Let's give it a go. This is just my charge cord, so I don't know if this would like work better with headphones or what, but I have so many cords on my desk.
Look at that. It's cute and it's you. I'm so happy. And I can use all of these, even though the red doesn't super match my color scheme. I would do anything for this little face. So, these are the two pieces from this collection that I got. They also had a pillow, but it was quite big, and I was like, eh, it's crossing into, like, a kind of territory of something I think I would struggle to get into my suitcase. And I have to tell you, I'm so proud of myself. I didn't have to buy any extra luggage or pay any over luggage charges like for weight of the suitcase so I don't know how I got so much stuff home but we did it the next thing this is a little I guess it's like a wallet or purse it's somewhere in between this is not for me this is just for um, a relative of mine She's really young, so this is just like a little, um, you know, your first wallet or purse, but I just thought, you know, she's a big Pokemon fan, it would be perfect. It has the three starters on it, and then on the back, you can see kind of, it's difficult to see, but it has the three starters again. I'm hoping she likes this, you know, it's just a little thing. So, I was really missing my Earl Grey tea in Tokyo <laughs> so, so much. So, I decided I was just going to get some, and this is Sprigatito Earl Grey, and it's in a really cute box with really cute art on it. They had so many other great tea flavors in Japan that I would enjoy throughout the whole I was drinking so much tea, maybe too much. But I like to have Earl Grey in the morning and the cute coffee shop nearby where we were staying did not have that. So just decided to pick this up. And it comes in this cute little tin. I have already had all of the tea. So there's actually really good tea. And it's a nice, cute little collectible container. I want to think of a cool way to display it, but I'm not sure yet what that will be. I'll think of something, I'm sure. A couple more things. This is also a gift, but this is for someone who does not watch my channel, so I don't have to be worried about that. It's just a little cute zipper to pouch. I thought the design on this was, like, adorable. This is from a particular collection, uh, Pokemon Peaceful Place, <laughs> and it's a little zippered pouch. This is kind of cool to me. The back part has this little Pikachu, but it also becomes, like, a Kleenex holder or face tissue, so you can just put a couple in there, or I suppose you could put something else that you need to grab easily. And it's kind of like a fun little part of the pouch. And then on the inside, it has little um, like compartments. So you could use it as like a toiletry bag or lots of other things, but this friend really likes cute things, so I thought it would be perfect. I love the banana. to things for me. Look at this thing. You might be wondering to yourself, what is it? I was thinking the same thing too when I first saw it, although I was like, you know, excuse me, that is so cute. I must have it. But I was also kind of like, what is this item? It obviously has a purpose. This is a electronics cleaner. So you can see here, so soft, and it's so that you can like clean your keyboard or your um, like your dis 
display your monitor with this like microfiber soft material and it's swab blue. I thought this was so adorable and like functional too, right? So I'm gonna try to think of a cool unique place to keep it um, on or nearby my desk. I really want to open this because I didn't open it the entire time and I was like, Saving it. I'll like open this up. Oh my gosh. I did not realize that the head part on Swamp Blue is like squishy. What? Just take her out. Oh. It's so squishy. And so. is like um let's see if you can here it's like a rubber and the body is so squishy I know it's not like a stress ball but kind of feels like it especially with how soft and squishy the whole thing is this is gonna be great to use for like my screen and my phone Very happy that I got this. This was an impulse buy, so I wasn't sure. But, oh, oh, oh. you know, even though that uh, tea canister is empty, I can totally still smell the Earl Grey. It's kind of making me want a cup of tea. I'm gonna have to do that once we're all done. Two more things. I grabbed these socks. They're like, um, sheer sock and it has dittos on it. I love the lavender color and it's kind of nice because this part is lavender but then the top is sheer so you really get like the, the little dittos and I wear my little pink loafers a lot with like sheer patterned socks these would be perfect. They're gonna look great with it. And I wear a lot of lavender, so little ditto socks. Like that is just a cute overload. That's so, so cute. The last thing I'm gonna show you before I go make a cup of tea is these lovely coins that, as you saw, we got pressed. These are always a uh, fun souvenir to get, breast coins. I'd love to think of a way to display these, so if you guys have any ideas, let me know. I really have no idea, but that's cute because it says Pokemon Center Tokyo DX. And this one says Pokemon Center Sky Tree. Just a really great memory. The designs on these are really cute. And it's fun to collect them. All in all, I loved the Pokemon Center shopping experience. It was very hard to not spend like all my money here. I feel like if I lived locally, I'd be a goner. Be no good for me. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed watching all of these in the hall and watching the whole store um, as we walked through it. It's so fun for me to do these. I've still got a couple more coming up to show you that I know you're going to love, so stay tuned. <laughs> you all have a great night.